Hi everyone, it's Christy, Stitching Mum of Two Monsters. Today is Tuesday, 14th of April, 2020. Uh, this is floss tube number nine, and I thought it was time that I got my butt into gear and finally did an update, because it's been six months or so, I reckon, since I did it, and my pile here is huge. I've got a bit of a different angle, because the cat refuses to move in his spot. So, we'll give it a go. Um, I've got two FFOs from last year. I uh, haven't got any FFOs from this year yet, but I do have some FOs. So, I'll get straight into it because the piles I said is quite big. I won't put any before photos in because I'm not quite sure where I was beforehand. But the first FFO is my witch's hat done on fire oh, there we go fire rooster by chromatic alchemy and that was by Ursula Michael I think so that's that's it there my second FFO is huge <sighs> is my Alexandra Adelaide beaded dress oops oh, as I said it's quite big I'm trying to get with the better light too, showing all that mess. <laughs> Can't get it. Anyway, there it is. In all its huge glory. Oh, oh it's getting his window glare. Sorry. A bit better. Oh. I tried putting the windows. The shades up because to let more light in it was a bit dull in here okay that was a quick show <laughs> so my fo's i've got no three i said two but i've got three so the first one was a carryover from last year is greek gods and goddesses by Klaus Factory. So that's it there. It's the fabric is also by Chromatic Alchemy. I think it's 16 count. Let me go back into my book. Yep, 16 count Ada Petra. And the only alterations I did was Aphrodite didn't have any gold, so I put some gold in her hair. All the rest of the gods and goddesses actually did have gold on them, so I thought it was a bit unfair for her to be not blinged out. So that's that one. The other two are new starts for this year. I'll put that one away. So, I started just Nan's little hedging, which I got the pattern from Tash, the Starcross Stitcher. So that's that's a little hedgy. I'm gonna do a couple of these. So there's my start and finish. Hopefully in this coronavirus isolation, I might actually try and finish him off if I can find a button. Because as I said, I received the pattern from Tash, but she'd already done it before. And so I don't have a, the buttons. So I'll have to go find some. So that was finish number two. Another start. It was the Let's Do Coffee by Ursula Markle. And I started this one on the 5th of January. Uh, it is on 14 Count Ada, which I tea coffee dyed myself. And I changed the colour. Because the colour looked a little too red, sort of more clarity. 
So I've changed it to from 814 to 938. But here it is here. So I tea, coffee, dyed the material, then oven baked it as per Priscilla and Chelsea's tutorial to get that modelling. So that was finish number three. I want to put them in all so I don't get it. Do it all in the bags so it doesn't get messed up. Okay, so other new starts for this year. So new starts. Oops, this bag's not quite big enough. This one is a koala biscornu that we got from Medical and Stitches of Sheep. It's by Wide Violet Cross Stitch. So this was my new year new start. And this is how far I'm got at the moment. And I'm just doing it on a random bit of fabric that I got from Fabric Flare. It doesn't have a name. I couldn't say a name anywhere. But it's all mottled and I thought it looked like tree bark and stuff on there. So I thought that was quite appropriate. The next one, I have started the, I don't have a picture from it because it's a stitch along. It is the Three Musketeers Cell by Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts. I'm using 14 count Ada, Navy Ada. I'm doing the full design, not the mini. And I'm hoping to work more on this one today, actually. So that's as far as I've got so far. And that needle minders is one of mine. Once upon a needle minder. And if you stick around to the end, I'm actually going to do a little bit of self-promotion and a sale at the moment. Going, which I'll talk about a bit later. The next new start is my Egyptian sampler by Teresa Wentzler. I started this one on the 9th of January using a 20 count even weave which I also tea coffee dye. It's ever just so subtle. I don't think I... I didn't oven bake it. I just tea coffee dyed it. But this is the actual design. So it's the Egyptian sampler. And I'll pull this off. I've got all the border done, so it goes up here as well. And I'm just starting to work on the blocks, which I'll then fill them in once I've done all the blocks. And I know that it all is in the right place. I'm loving this. This one has actually became my favourite bit. Which I didn't think a Teresa Winsler would be a favourite. I know, I love her designs, but they're so intricate and thread heavy, blended thread heavy. But I'm actually loving it. And it's in one of my Taran bags from Teaser Handmaids in Australia. Which, oops, sorry, my Egyptian thing, that was also, this was, I actually sent her this material for this one. Next one is also in a Taran bag. This was also a new start. I'm actually going to be restarting this one because I started it on, oh, now I can move a bit, on 32 count linen and I found the linen is actually 
uneven. So I've just dyed a couple of days ago some even weave. But this is the Chatelaine, it's Rose Lights. I've actually kitted it up myself as I found that a lot of the threads and treasures have been discontinued. So this is as far as I got, not very far. And I started in the middle, that tiny amount. So I figured I'm hating the material. It's getting thrown. And I re dyed some more. And what the look I've gone for is dried rose petals. So what I did is I dyed it the pink, put it in the dryer, fully dried it. Then I tea coffee dyed it, uh, well, uh, just dunked it more, I should say. It came out a little apricotty, so I rinsed that off a little bit. Then put it in the oven to bake. It still wasn't quite right, so I, then I re-dunked it in the pink dye and then put that back in the oven and baked it and it's come out this blush pink with a few of the mottling, which is perfect for what I want. It's exactly how I want. So I'm hoping to start that this week, or restart it, as I really, really want to do a Chatelaine. I've got a few, but... I haven't this is my first one and that is it I think for new starts no it's not I started a little bat but I have no idea where he is oh he's in this one he is in no, that's the one I'm doing so he's in the 2013 Halloween edition. If I can find the... He's just a tiny little thing. I had to do something that had a bat. Oh, it's got the actual picture on it. I mean the pattern. So I've started him. And instead of just putting felt on him, I'm going to do a front and back. I'm doing it on 14 count perforated paper and that's as far as I've got with him. So I've started to do his back here and then I'll move on to the wings. That's it for new starts. Oh, I'm already 13 minutes in. Okay, I'm just going to now do the ones that I've been working on that I'd already started. Uh, so there'll be definitely no before picks because I just really can't remember where I've been up to. But I will show you now what I've been working on. So I've got this bag out. I've been working on the Edgar Allan Poe sampler, which is in that same magazine. Another Taran bag. And um, this is where I'm up to with this one. And I'll try and go quicker so I can get this stuff done. My other Outlander back that I sent stuff in. I'm working on this one for my mum, our grandchildren. This has been a Christmas present, I think, for the last two years that I really don't like working on it for some reason, but I'll get there. Make it the focus for this year. So this is where I'm up to. That's that one. Yeah, I'm onto the container ones, not the bags. So I'm working on this one for a little special girl in my life. A mermaid sleeps here. Just try and get this off so I can pull it out. And this is where I'm up to. 
and it's going to become a pillow. And that's on the 32 count linen. Which I'm not a fan of, but I've got lots and lots and lots of it and it needs to get used. I might put these ones down here. I love this cup. Popping in my tub tub. I think it's become my motto for the time we're in at the moment. Now I haven't done much of this one. It is in another magazine called Cross Stitch Collection. And it's the giraffes. I'm doing that one for my son. And that's as far as I've got. Not very far, but I'm getting there. This is another project I've hated working on that has also been a present for my sister, oh, excuse me, for the last two, possibly three Christmases. Uh, I'm working on the School of Dolphins, the one at the top. There's something about this pattern that I'm just not loving, but I'll get there. The fabric I'm using is 14 count Ada um, in the colour Oceans by Colour Cascades Fabrics in Australia. So that's where I got. I've actually done a thousand stitches this week in this one, or I should say last week in this one. As part of my School of Magical Stitches homework. And extra credit. So I think that was the extra credit. Because my homework was the Teresa Winsler. And my next one, Miss Christmas Eve. I'm changing this one up. Uh, so it's Miss Christmas Eve by Mirabilia. I'm doing it in the colours of my Christmas colour scheme. So purples, pinks, silvers, blues, crystal, opal, that sort of stuff. So I've got the majority oh, of probably three, yeah, probably three quarters of a dress done, except for all the beading. And I've started to work on the bodice. So I was going to go pinks, but I've decided to go with the purples this so far. And I really like working on her. Uh, I've only got two more. I might put all of them back here. I don't know if I lost one of my. One of them come off. Okay, I'll put that in a special spot there, fix it. And the next one is my Thomas Kincaid Snow White Discovers the Cottage. Another pattern I hate, but I love the picture, so I'm just going to plough one through. So that's where I've got. Started on the main tree in the middle and the cottage, I think, so here. And the last one I've been working on is my Tiger Dreams by Amy Stewart. I will try and put a picture here of what it's going to look like because I don't have one printed. And this is where I'm up to. I've put a good thousand something stitches in this one too over the last month. So the part of the tiger is starting to, first part of it's here. And that's where I'm up with them. Um, oh, I don't want to say um too much. So that's it so far for all of what I've been working on. I'm going to jump into a little bit of the haul. I was naughty last year and did buy quite a bit. I've picked out just a couple of the pieces that I wanted to show you. And 
then that will be it. So, actually, before haul, I will do my little self-promotion. So, because of the uh, coronavirus, the pubs have been shut, so I'm now out of work. So, I've decided to run a sale of 15% off everything I have in my um, little needle minder business. And I've put a few more minders up on my group, Once Upon a Needle Minder. Just went out of my head then. <laughs> so 15% off everything um, until basically I can get back to work. Because being a single mum, teenage boys, they're eating a lot, still got rent to pay, bills to pay. And my income has pretty much halved. Because I'm now on the job seeker bonus, um, payment. Anyway, won't go into all that, but now I'll go into haul. So if you want to go over, I will link the group hopefully below if I can figure out how to do it properly. And if you want to just browse, buy anything, it will be greatly appreciated. So what did a few of the things I bought? Well, I love Taryn. I love the things that she, all the bags that she makes. She makes exceptional so while I was in the Midagon retreat, I took up some material and gave it to her and said, please make some things for me. So the first one was the bag. It fits all my 11 by 11 Q-snaps really good. This was the material. I said to her just to put black fabric in. The second thing I had her make, I won the Omnic scroll frames. So what, and I wanted something to cover that up. So she's made a scroll frame cover. And it's just, I haven't got the scroll frames, anything on it to show you, but basically it's that. With Velcro, put the frames around, attach it, but keeps all the dust and everything off. And I had the bag to match to put the pattern, floss, and everything in that will coordinate. And I even had fabric left over, so now I'll have to think what I can do with that for another time. Then I got some, when I was dyeing some fabric, I decided to dye some more. That one was pink tea coffee dyed Ada. Not real happy with how that one turned out. And this one I just did pink and oven baked it. I like how that one's come out. Okay, so the fabric haul. Sorry, I'm going to crinkle. But I've left it all in the material. I got from Chromatic Alchemy. These two were special ones. Called Unicorn Farts. This one is on the 28 count. Opal, Brittany. I love it. It's so cute. I'm not sure if you can see the sparkle. This one is on the 18 count opal, also unicorn farts. This one is red tide. It's on the 28 count even wing. Uh, we've got pumpkin king, 28 count even wing. These are found pretty much true to color actually. Oh, maybe, yeah, I don't know. Then she was having a sale of some like little off cuts. So this one is 14 count Ada. Um, it doesn't actually have a name, but it's that like navy blue with dark mottling. It's a bit of a glare from the things, this one. This one is, was a 28 count Brittany in the colorway Knox. Another, I must have had a dark, dark day. And then this one was the 14 count Ada in opal. So yeah, you can see the sparkle happening there. So I love them. Some threads, I've started to be in the Silks For You colour of the month. 
yeah, I think it's colour. Oops. So this one here was December's. I love the little bags, which I'll reuse. So they were... I love them. Absolutely beautiful. So that was December's. January. We had the blues. Four different blues. I love silks for you. Absolutely gorgeous silks. February. April should be here soon, actually. Purple and green. Oh, hopefully you can't hear my kids. I've got my door shut, but then March, it's sort of very springy, yellows, greens, and a colourful one. Very nice. That's that lot. Yeah, I did get the ultimate stitchy kindness from Betty. Everyone knows Betty. She is just a darling. I made a comment on how much I loved the gingerbread village that she had finished. I said how I wanted to do it one day. She messaged me and said, would you like my patterns? I said, yes, please. So once I finish it, I will actually then pass on the stitchy kindness and send it on to someone else. But so all the gingerbread patterns, plus with some gingerbread buttons. So thank you, Betty, if you watch this. You are an absolute treasure. I also won a pattern from Victoria, from Victoria's Crafty Room, which is, go away Ben, the Country Cottage Needleworks Paris. And Paris is one of my favourite spots I've been to in the world. Japan is number one, but in Europe, Paris had to be. I loved it. I got to go to Disneyland in Paris. Mind you, this is 20 years ago or so, so. Oh no, this year 21 it will be. 21 years, my goodness. So thanks, Vicky. Oh, and she included one for her needle minders as well. Yeah. Speaking of country cottage, I'm on a country cottage theme, I'm guessing. I went on to an Australian D stash and got the little country cottage and little house needleworks um, or country cottage sheep in the meadow. And I'm putting that one in the middle. Oh, a few people have altered it. And then around it, I'm doing the little house needleworks sheep, little sheep virtues. So I've got all the little sheep patterns to go with that I've also got oh I'm getting up to 30 minutes now I better be quick the another Teresa Wentzler Dreamscape Carousel I've wanted this one for some time ever since I was little actually and started stitching I've seen them I think I was 12 when I started stitching then our lovely Bendy Stitchy on her D stash page Actually, I, in one of her uh, Christmas ones, I won her Country Cottage line. I told you there's a theme happening there. So I won that. Thanks, Michelle. 
And then when she was de-stashing, I managed to pick up um, Rosebud uh, by Amy Brooken. Uh, a la di da falling star. One of the Celtic Santas. I'd love to do all these Santas. I've got the Wales one. I really love those Santas. And then I've got a Mosey and Me, a delectable Halloween recipe. Which I think that's quite cute. Uh, what else have I got? I think that might be nearly it from... Oh, no. I'll just do a couple more. Gail Phillips. I managed to get a couple from her when she was de-stashing. Hi, Gail. So I've got the White Cockatoos from Country Cottage, uh, Country Threads. And then I've got the Colourful Lorikeets. So I think I'm going to do them for my dad. Because he had parrots. Uh, oh, I missed a fabric. I've just become a member of the Leany. Um, crafty Leany. And this was her. I love how she packages them. This is so cute. Her first fabric I got from her and she included a, a needle minder and this one was called bushfire because of and it's 28 count and it is gorgeous and it was because of all the bushfires that we had November December January here in Australia it's just gorgeous. That looks a little washed out actually on the camera. I absolutely love that. Now I've got to find something to stitch it on. Oh, God. okay. Last one. Oh, because I'm now in 30 minutes. I got some patterns from JK's cross stitching supplies here in Australia. So the first one, oh, my Leaning Tower of Pisa was just about to go. The Scotland Chatelain, Scotland Mandala. The Joan Allett Daffodil Fairy, because my youngest is born in March, and he's a daffodil. I've got the pop, another Joan Allett Poppy Fairy, because my oldest is born in August, so his birth flowers are poppy. I've also got the Remembrance Day from Country Threads. Speaking of Remembrance Day, um, I've just bought the Anzac pattern from Paddock Lane Stitches. Paddock Lane. Lisa. <laughs> Which I can't wait to stitch that too. I'm going to do that one on black fabric. The next one I got from JK was the Coffee Quaker. So this is my first Quaker from Heartstring Sampler and my first Heartstring Sampler. I've got my Just Nan Creatures. So my Hazel the Fun Witch Mouse. I think these are just so cute. Miss Witchy Mouse. Ginger brown, gingerbread Mrs. Santa Mouse. Gingerbread Elf Mouse. And gingerbread, ginger brown, gingerbread Santa Mouse. Now, picture. I love, love that. Oops. And the Witching Hour Cube, which I'll probably put the mouse on. Also got Mirabilia's Winter Queen. I'm a snow bunny, so I love this Winter Queen. And I think that's all I'm going to do. That is all I'm going to do. 
So, I hope everyone stays safe. Well, stays inside as much as they can so we can flatten the curve and then we can get back to normality, hopefully sooner rather than later. Everyone, stay safe. Remember to be yourself because everyone else is taken.